Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Hey, I'm going to do a um, dirty pour tonight. I have a 24 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. I have it taped and pinned and I have a bunch of colors. This is my white, which has, it's the Artist Loft Flow White with a little bit of um, deco art satin enamels. This is Artist Loft co Metallic Cobalt Blue. This is a combination of, oh gosh, what did I put in here? I put in Liquitex Quinacridone um, Magenta and some Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. And I think that's it. They're pretty thick. This is Pebeo Iridescent Green Blue. And this is Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green. So I've got them both in this time. This is the consistency of my paints. I did do a drip test because I really want this to work. <laughs> I really, really want this to work. It is O Dark 30 here. I decided to um, paint late. And I wanted to thank Kathleen Osmore once again for our collaboration. I had fun doing it. And she's a wonderful artist and I admire her so much. So on that note, I've got everything stirred, ready to go. Now this is a six, 18 ounce cup. We're gonna need a little bit more for that. Uh, more than that for this so I'm going to have to save something for um, a flow extender so I'm going to put just a little bit of white in the bottom and then some gold and then some cobalt what am I doing this is a dirty cup pouring it from up high bit of the Thalo Turquoise Impression Blue. Permanent Blue Violet. This is a Permanent Violet, permanent violet Dark with Quinacridone Magenta. Let's put some more white in. And some of this, the Green Blue, and some of the Blue Green more of, ooh, this is fun, um, do, 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 do. more white, more cobalt, metallic blue, it's a big cup, I'm happy with that. So I didn't put too much gold in. So I might be using gold as my flow extender. I do have a little bit of this. I watered this down just a little bit. I'm gonna pour into this. And I'm gonna move my cups out of the way. I've got enough to do another painting here. Jeez Louise. All right, here we go. This is gonna to be too cool. All right, right in the center, here we go. Look at all the cells starting up already in there. I don't know if you can see them. So we're gonna pour from up top. Way up high, there's hardly any gold in there. Oh, that was bad. There's a lot of paint there. Finger painting. All right, let's torch it. 
La Touche. La Touche. Look at that cup, it's so beautiful. Oh, all my gold is down there. Well. Not much I can do about that now. So, what do we want to use? I guess we'll use the gold for the flow extender. I'm going to put that right there. Uh, I need to water this down. You do you want your flow extender to be thinner than your paints? I'm going to just let that develop. That's, it's going to take a few minutes before that does anything. better. Your center is going to grow, so you don't want it to be really nasty. All right, I still need more water in here. It doesn't seem like there's enough flow extender here. This is only nine ounces. I'm just going to let this sit for a bit, guys. Let it spread out a little. I'd have to put some white around it too, but I'm kind of leery about that because I don't want white cells coming up. Unless I put some white in here. Hmm. I might do that. I haven't tried that yet. So I'm taking a little bit of the white, pouring it into my gold and making that my flow extender. Satin enamels tends to um, produce cells, so I don't know about this. It's not what I had imagined, but I could do another one that is just a straight pour that's layered, a layered cup. together. Mm, 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 mm. So, no gold. Oh, I know what we could do. We could put the cobalt around here, too. I love that color. And let's just go for it. I do want to make sure I have enough paint, which now I think I do. It's a big boy. Well, now I don't have enough paint for another canvas, that's for sure. Okay. I love this. I love painting. I love food art. I love my life. <laughs> After the year we had last year, eh? You know, it's funny because the very first pour I had last year in January ended up at the Fort Lauderdale Airport. And um, I was surprised that they picked that one, but um, they did. So it was like, okay, cool. So it's only supposed to be up there for six months and it was up there for a year because of COVID. So um, that didn't hurt me at all. It didn't hurt my feelings, uh-uh. So anyhow, I'm going to be entering another one for the October because I missed this one. And that looks like a holy mess here, doesn't it? Hmm, okay, it looks like your cells are trying to pop up too. Let's give it another torch.
All right, here we go. Wish me luck. I feel like there's not enough light. Oh, maybe not. So I'm just going to move this in a circular direction. Oh, I like that center. I say that now, I might not be saying that later. So this is a dirty cup. I call it a filthy dirty cup or dirty filthy cup because it's a dirty pour in the cup and it's also a dirty pour onto the canvas. Oh, there's some cells coming up. Gold ones. You can still hear planes taking off. Surprise is pretty late. It's like, I don't know, 1.32. going to attempt to make a spinner the size of a 20 inch canvas and a 24 inch canvas. I have the all the materials to make it. I think I need to get some wood screws but other than that um, yeah I'm gonna go for it because wouldn't this be nice spun out turquoise. It's a lot of blue, a lot of purple. Gotta give it a chance, Michelle. All right, let's sit this down here, bring it back to center for one, and then see what we like the most and what we want to keep. So, let me give it a torch. There's a thought process that goes into this. Generally what you want to do is you want to, um, whatever you like the most, you want to go off that corner first. But I love this too. Oh my gosh. Decisions, decisions. Maybe we'll just let the paint figure it out. Nah, I think I'm going to come over on this side. Tender off and back we go. Bring it back to center. Yeah, I really wanted more turquoise. It's not like I didn't have enough poured or mixed and I'm going to go off that corner now although it's getting very eh let's just do it Oh, 
off you go. And back. Oh, I'm liking it now. Yeah, there are some cells coming up. Bring it back to center. down. Now, all of my tricks that I've learned for my straight pores and my dirty pores and from Mina and from Ceramac. are wonderful people and wonderful artists. I'll link them both in this video so you can check them out. Right, let's go off that corner. Off you go. Boom, ba -dum. See now I'm really liking that. Oh gosh. Guys, the shimmer on this is crazy. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh, that permanent violet dark. It is sweet. It's looking really nice. This way a little bit and then over this way a little bit oh and of course the wonderful oh Gina DeLuca she's the first person I ever watched on um, YouTube when I first started this journey her um, paintings are amazing and she she is a musical artist as well I'm glad I put my fingers in that center it would have been hard to figure that out with a stick wow I have paint everywhere I think my thinks we're going to, you know what, I'm going to tip it a little bit this way just to get some cells on this corner and then bring it back. The more you stretch, the more cells you get. That's a Gina trick for sure. Oh, I don't want to get this. Oh. Some little pink cells coming up too going to be pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Am I in frame? It's kind of hard to be in frame. Very cool. I believe I got enough paint off. Let's see here. Yeah. That's enough. I'm going to tip it back and forth, though. So... I can get more cells. I'm a greedy cell lady. Greedy for my cells. I really like this one. Yeah, I should have put more turquoise in it. My bad. It's my fault. Always make sure your corners are covered. Very important. Doesn't look professional if it's not covered. Let me see what it looks like on the other side there. Whoops, shoot. Yeah, I needed a little bit here. But all, all in all, I mean, there's cells coming down the sides. It looks really cool. I'm gonna pull it down a little bit more here. And I'm 
I'm going to wipe underneath so that it stops the paint from flowing off to keep the composition. One more side to do. There we go. I should have put the gold next to this a little more, more often. Well, we can do a straight pour next, but not tonight. Tonight, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, how am I gonna fix that? Dang, that wasn't good. Oh my gosh. Oh. How am I going to fix that? Oh no. Oh, I can't believe that happened. That really sucks. I just don't know what to do. I was so happy with it too. Gotta watch the composition. Cause we're gonna be tipping it back. Oh geez, it goes on my cells. It's going. I lost a bunch of cells on the sides and I'm bringing it back now. How to ruin a painting. It's not, not ruined yet, Michelle. Give it a chance. That was very unfortunate. <laughs> Extremely unfortunate. Right, I'm going to try and get this back. Turn it around so I have a little bit more control. Oopsie. Well, there won't be too much paint on here now. It should dry nice. I did use GAC 800. I just did something else to the other corner. I cannot believe it. Maybe this just isn't meant to be. It's coming. All right, now. I might end up liking this better anyways. Boy, this one's making me work. Gotta work for it. So I like the original composition better, but this is a happy accident because I am getting more turquoise. Let's see if I can straighten out those cells over there. And now I want to bring it down. I didn't get anything here. Let me torch it first before I... I do want to bring it down a little bit too, so I'm not going to get any more cells if I bring it down. I'm going to try and fix some of these cells on the corners, which is kind of working. They're going back into place. 
Well, so much for putting you guys on time lapse, eh? Hmm, are you guys in frame? No. Kind of looks a little ethereal in here. I'm liking that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm leaving it now. Step away! Step away now! That is cool. All right, I'm gonna let you guys um, watch it on time lapse. I'm not sure if anything else is gonna happen now. Even the center um, when it was on time lapse, I wasn't um, loving it. So I took a little bit of um, satin enamels and water and put it on my finger and just put those in, and it it just makes it look a little bit better, almost like a genie in a bottle um, coming out of a bottle or something. You know, I'm sorry, I'm moving too much. So this is the right hand bottom corner. This is the one I had my second boo-boo on. And uh, there's not gonna be lines because it's, that's the one I had a, a real big problem with, this corner. I got a couple little cells up, but that's not too bad. And then I got some cells here too. And in this corner, look at those hard for me to reach. Pretty cool. And I love the blending of the colors. Um, the drips that I was able to get off this canvas turned out to be a beautiful shade of iridescent navy blue. So cool. So I'm really happy. This, look at that. Oh. Next time I do a piece like this, actually I'm not, I'm not gonna do a dirty pour. This almost looks like a wing right here. <laughs> uh, I see little things in, you know, it's funny. Most people see things in my art that I don't even see. Um, it's kind of strange that way. But I ended up putting a couple of pieces of diamond dust from Stuart Semple in here. Um, not sure if that's going to work out or not, but I should have left them out. But anyhow, I'm really liking this piece. Love the colors. Love that I was able to save it. And uh, I'll be doing another one, uh, probably a straight pour with these colors, since I do have some left. So please like, share, and subscribe, and please be safe and create. Ciao for now.